Welcome back. In this video, we're going to do a comparison video. We're going to compare the new 6.8 Western to the 7mm Remington Magnum. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Let's see how they compare to each other. So over the past couple of weeks, um, some YouTubers that I follow, they're starting to get the 6.8 Western. Uh, people are finally able to get rifles for them and the ammo. So it got me excited to see, just to learn more about the 6.8 Western. So I went to Winchester's website and I found this section. How does the 6.8 Western stack up to the competition? And scrolling down a little bit, you see heavier bullet weights than the 6.5 Creedmoor, 6.5 PRC, and 270 WSM. Well, yeah, that makes sense. That's what this rifle was made for. And then it says more energy than a 6.5 Creedmoor. Well, yeah. 6.5 PRC, yeah, that makes sense. And 7mm Rem Mag, is that really true? That's what we're going to find out today. All right, so Winchester gave us this little uh, chart to show just how much better the 6.8 Western is than a 7mm Rem Mag. Okay, so 6.8 Western with that 165 grain Acubon long range, uh, 18 hundred foot pounds of energy at 500 yards that's really good uh, they give us a 7 mm rem mag with an acubon 160 grain acubon and it only has 1500 foot pounds of energy see Winchester is cherry picking here uh, they're using a acubon 160 grain in the 7 mm rem mag which has a BC in the 500s and they get to use uh, Acubon long range with a BC that's over 600. You know, it's no surprise. So they claim it's 18% more energy than a 7mm Rem Mag. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit more fair. So what I'm going to do is use the 175 grain Acubon long range bullet for the 7mm Rem Mag. And let's see if it has more energy. First, I wanted to show the 6.8 Western ballistic chart before I compare it to the 7mm Rem Mag. Um, so, using the 165 grain Acubon long range with a BC of 0 .620 and a muzzle velocity of 2970, that's pretty darn good. You're getting energy that's 3,200 foot pounds. That's 30-06 energy, but as you can see, this is going to hold its energy much better than a 30-06, and so it is much better for long range shooting. Okay, so with a zero at 100 yards, uh, looking out to hunting distances that I would be comfortable and advise people shooting out to 400 yards, your, your velocity is almost 2,400 feet per second and your energy is almost 2,100 foot pounds. Plenty of energy for elk and drop uh, 23 inches and then windage uh, this thing is is meant for long distance shooting and so it does really well as well let's go ahead and see I guess what the limits are uh, using 1500 foot pounds roughly for elk let's see how far not that I advise people hunting out to these distances but I'm curious to see uh, what the stats are with this rifle. All right. So basically, probably around 650 yards is where your maximum range is for elk. Out to 700, the bullet's going 2,000 feet per second, and the energy is a little bit below 1,500 foot pounds. And the drop uh, is quite good only 103 inches and uh, windage is also really good so this definitely is a great cartridge and I do think it's gonna be pretty successful uh, let me show you recoil this is obviously going to depend on how heavy your rifle is uh, but I measured it at around 21 pounds of inner of recoil which as you'll see is basically the same as a 7mm Rem Mag so looking at Nosler's website, 
This is the 175 grain. If you see, it's the Acubon long range and the 7mm Rem Mag, a BC of 0.648, so it's a, more of a fair fight. Um, and then as you scroll down to see what kind of velocities, sorry, max, we're going to go ahead and use the max, which is 2970. That's pretty quick. So let's see how that does on a ballistics chart compared to the 6.8 Western. So the 7mm rem mag, when we do hand loads, which is really getting to its full potential, which what Winchester uh, doesn't want you to know, <laughs> um, with a comparable bullet that has a roughly around the same BC, uh, it, it paints a different picture. So speed 2970, that's what the Nosler book said when hand loading, energy. 3,400 foot-pounds of energy. That's quite good. That's 200 more foot-pounds than the 6.8 Western. So out to hunting distances, uh, velocity is roughly the same as the 6.8 Western, a little bit quicker, like barely. And then the energy, uh, it's still roughly around 200 more foot-pounds of energy. And then let's go ahead and see what the max distance for this cartridge is um, with 1500 foot pounds and out to 700 yards you still have the bullet going 2000 feet per second and the energy is 1600 foot pounds so roughly you're going to get about 50 to 75 yard advantage with the 7mm rem mag over the 6.8 Western. Uh, drop is a little bit better at 101. Uh, that's only like less than two inches better. So they're pretty identical. Windage is roughly about the same, just a little bit better windage. I wanna be honest with you guys. I tried really hard to find 6.8 Western load data because I want to give the 6.8 Western its fair shot of hand loads because I did that with the 7mm rem mag, but I can't find any. Um, I did look at its close relative, the 270 WSM, and kind of punched some numbers that could be close to the 270 WSM, and it still didn't beat the 7mm rem mag, but I don't know for 100% sure because I can't find any hand load information. If you guys know where to find it, please let me know below. That would be great. So in conclusion, the 6.8 Western doesn't actually outperform the 7mm rem mag with energy downrange, but that's okay. The 6.8 Western I think is going to be a great cartridge and I'm really grateful that the market is trying to push uh, the 270 caliber cartridges as I think they're quite underrated and I'm looking forward to seeing what other cartridges are made and more high-performance bullets. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.